Now, what is the purpose of vitamin C? Why do you give vitamin C with glutathione? vitamin C for my skin as well. Let me show you how. So with this, one fourth, teaspoon, uh, one fourth cup of water. Come here, come. So, and then like one fourth uh, teaspoon. Yeah. And then dissolve it in the water. Just dissolve it. It's okay also if it doesn't dissolve properly. Yeah, so vitamin C is good for the skin. They lighten the skin. They enhance collagen production as well. So what I would usually do is that I get a piece of cotton, dip it here, and then just use it as a toner. Like this. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. What are your thoughts on the glutathione controversy? Uh, okay. So, again, this is what I have uh, a couple of days ago. I think the FDA had a uh, an advisory about glutathione, right? Mm -hmm. so they were saying that glutathione can cause uh, uh, kidney disease. Not really kidney disease, but vitamin C saying that vitamin C can cause kidney disease because if you inject glutathione, you have to inject it with vitamin C normally. Well, why do you do that? First thing foremost is that glutathione, it's made in the body, okay? It's an amino acid, it's made in the body, and it's the mother of all antioxidant. Now, what is the purpose of vitamin C? Why do you give vitamin C with glutathione? Because the vitamin C recycles your glutathione. So when your body is done using it, you can recycle it back. So you already have that uh, uh, glutathione in your body. I think the only one that you really need is your vitamin C because we lost that capacity a long, long time ago to make vitamin C. Okay. Now, the thing is, uh, with vitamin C, they are saying vitamin C can cause uh, kidney stones. I have never seen any uh, research that says that it can cause um, stones, okay? What I, I probably would tell them is those are all chismes, 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you are trying to tell people are all chismis. But we have seen so many people who are mega dosing on vitamin C and they did not develop uh, kidney stones. Look okay? at the research of Linus Pauling. Yeah, so now with glutathione, I think the concern of the FDA is the manufacturer. Yeah, because the one who manufactures, you think my, your we do not know. Okay, my concern is that if you're manufacturing glutathione, where did you manufacture it? Okay, because these are all synthetic, right? So where are you manufacturing it, and what are the what are the safety issues that are involved with it? Because you can always manufacture in a place. And you do not know the quality of the glutathione. Oh, what is your? What I, is I your... think I think my issue there is you have glutathione, which is very very profitable in the Philippines. In fact, there was a uh, that news report that uh, recently showed that billions of dollars are being made on glutathione in, in mm -hmm. the Philippines. And so, mm -hmm. Philip, uh, the FDA wanted to address that. What's funny though is the pr prescribing of intravenous glutathione for skin lightening purposes is what's known as off-label off off, off -label prescribing, which is very, 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 very prevalent in the medical community. Basically, once a, a drug has been approved for a purpose, as a medical doctor, you can basically pre uh, you can prescribe that for just about anything, you know, mm -hmm. with rare exception. 